Hello, Sagittarians. Welcome to Frankie's Tarot. I will be doing your general love read from October 11th through the 17th. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and comment below if the uh, messages resonate. If they do, I will be providing a link to the extended read where I'll dive deeper into the outcome or anything else that may come up in the read. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys. The dates are just intentions. This could be whenever you hit this video. All right, my friends? Let's do this. Universe, give me some precise, general love messages for my Sagittarians. One more shuffle. Give me something good here for my Sagittarians. All right. Worth waiting for, all right? Healing family issues. You always got to do that in heart-to-heart -heart conversations. All right. Make the effort. Children could be involved. Attraction, all right? But we're going to go to heart-to-heart -heart conversations, all right? There definitely could be some communication coming in. I'll be doing the um, Celtic spread, and I'll clarify with the Gilded Tarot and um, my new Steampunk Tarot. They're awesome. I love them. They're my new favorite cards. All right. Let's do this. Universe, please give me clear messages. What do my Sagittarians need to know regarding their love life? Clear, precise messages, please these cards clear precise messages i would prefer to just throw these cards on the table and spread them but i don't have enough space i could never work for a casino please give me clear clear precise messages for my sagittarians all right perfect let's do this all right somebody's in their feels Looks like somebody has some emotion for you. You could be connecting to a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but this is definitely his Cancer energy. If you don't care, don't worry about signs. Don't focus too much on signs. Just focus on the energy of the sign. Um, but this is definitely feelings, all right? Could be those conversations coming in, somebody expressing their feelings to you, all right? Current situation, we have indecision. Somebody could have, be having a hard time deciding whether they want to make contact. We have six of pentacles, equal give and take. Maybe somebody feels as though they're constantly being the one that gives more to the relationship than the other. Your desire is to release some burdens and expectations. Past situation, you may be a little guarded. You may have um, needed to put your guard down, but, it's, but you didn't, you know, but we're gonna clarify all this. Current actions on the situation is um, right now you're being a little bit hard headed. Maybe you may not want to communicate. You may, again, you have this indecisiveness. You're in your head and you're not sure if you want to do this again. You're not sure if you're ready to. All right. Near future. The nine of cups though. You're happy. You, you, you know, it's, this is a whole different situation from what, you, what this is all showing. This is showing, you know, this happiness feelings. So maybe you are acting as if, but you're really as if, all right? What's something that could be coming your way? You may be juggling work and relationships or decision. How others see this, they see you kind of bound to something or stuck to something. Uh, maybe, maybe um, these thoughts, these thoughts that you need to release yourself from. Your hopes, messages of love, open in your heart. Somebody open in their heart to you. Could be a younger water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But definitely your hopes are love, um, intimacy. Um, what's the final outcome? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, somebody who's stable. They're a little slower to come in because they work a lot, but they're very stable. All right, we're gonna clarify these. See what else we have the knight of wands though too maybe maybe i'm not gonna say too much about this yet because i have a couple thoughts on it but i want to clarify everything else before i get to that because i'm wondering if you want that knight of pentacles to act a little faster like the knight of wands um or if you want to go out with the knight of pentacles um and have some fun Okay, and be more excited. Maybe your night of your person works too much. Maybe they work too much, and you want a balance here. 
that equal give and take of fun and work, fun and work. All right. So let's go. Let's go. Let's let's clarify this decision is definitely um, something to do with an equal give and take. Universe, what other messages can you do? Can you clarify this for me, please? The Seven of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> please clarify. Please clarify this situation right here, this current obstacle, this current situation. The Five of Cups, so some grief or loss. The Five of Wands over some arguments. Maybe somebody's lost, lost in the past to some arguments, but we have the King of Cups about their feelings. Arguing about feelings. Um, somebody feeling um, as if they're feeling, somebody's being insensitive, insensitive to their feelings. Um, there's not an equal give and take with feelings, um, with emotions. Um, and there's a lot of arguing. That's why there's an indecision here. There's a lot of arguing going on. And someone's feelings are always hurt. The nine of wands. But somebody's got their guard up again here. You got the eight of wands, right? But they have one last attempt. So you have one last attempt. This is your energy. Leo Sag Aries, okay? You definitely have one last attempt in you. And that is why you're here. That is why you're here. Okay. The magician. So you could be, um, you know, connecting with a Gemini, but you also could be thinking this person's, um, not telling you the truth maybe, or they're manipulating or they're manipulative, but I don't have any other cards here, negative cards that tell me that. So this could be you, um, Maybe feeling as if you two just do not have the same intentions for the relationship. But let's let's get more into this. Two of Swords here is a decision. Somebody not seeing clearly. Somebody has a fear of commitment too. So we have the Queen of Swords again. So this is you. This is clearly you. You have a fear of committing with this person. Commit committing with this person because you may feel that they are not telling the truth. You may feel that they're trying to manipulate the situation to work out for their best benefit. And they may tell you what you want to hear. But in the past, it looks as though often you, they um, were not sharing their feelings. There was a lot of arguments in the past and your feelings or their feelings were hurt. But I'm believing it's your feelings were hurt. Um, and it's left you here, the Queen of, Court, Queen of Swords kind of standoffish. And a little bit um, detached, afraid to open up, afraid to open up your heart. You're afraid to commit again. You're afraid to commit. That's your thoughts right now on the current situation. But in the future, um, that's your thoughts on the current situation, okay? Your guard is up, and that's why you're indecisive. You're not sure if this is going to balance itself out and be an equal give and take. All right, I just wanted to get that back, you know, put that back out there. But in the near future, <clears throat> we have Nine of Cups. And this could be that um, clear heart-to-heart -heart communication and healing, healing some of these issues from the past. But universe, please give me clear messages. Please clarify this Nine of Cups. Please clarify this Nine of Cups for me. Please clarify this Nine of Cups. We have the moon fears. We have the star. So this is wish, faith, something happening. This is your wish. Um, eight of wands coming in fast. Something's coming in fast. Travel. Travel. Four of wands to an event. So in the near future, you could be traveling to an event. But this is like a wedding. Or... Um, some sort of milestone, a birthday or, um, you know, some sort of, of important event, um, an anniversary. But we have the Page of Pentacles. You can trust the messages that are coming in. You can trust the messages that are coming in pretty fast. You can have faith in whatever it is 
um, that's coming in, this commitment that's coming in, um, the seven of wands, but somebody is, you're still defensive. It's that seven of wands over here. You're still defensive. You're not letting down your guard. The three of pentacles, but you need to work together in this situation to create this balance. You need to work together to create this balance. The queen of pentacles, but you're still a little bit standoffish. And you want stability and you want to be able to rely on this person. You want to be able to rely on this person. You want stability. And you, but you have forgiveness here. You are forgiven. You are forgiven this person. You are forgiven this person. We have the strength card. So you guys both are moving forward. This relationship is moving forward. Could be a Leo you're connecting with. There is forgiveness here. This communication, this heart-to-heart -heart conversations is communication and it's bringing your bond closer. You are hoping for an open heart, open communication, more for them to be more loving, for them to be more loving, okay? I want to clarify with these cups, I mean, this, this deck here, my steampunk deck. Let's clarify this page of cups and the final outcome. I want to know about the... You want them to open their heart. And maybe they work too much. Maybe they're workaholics. Um, but you want them to, and maybe they ignore you a lot. They focus so much on work. Because there are a lot of pentacles here. And most of the um, fiery energy I get is guardedness. But I have this knight of wands here that says, you want more passion and excitement in your life. You want them to quit ignoring you. You want them to open up more and create this balance where you have more passion, all right? But let me get some more clarification here um, from the universe. Universe, please clarify this page of cups, this page of cups and these knight of wands, however you wanna do it. But please be clear, please be clear. One more shuffle, please be clear. Clarify the page and the two knights here. You definitely want them to open up. The king of pentacles, all right, this is a solid, solid, stable, family, reliable, loyal man. You may want your Knight of Pentacles to act more like the King of Pentacles. And we have the world, the world. So you want a completion to the old cycle and you want a new, new beginning, a new cycle here. You want the world. And we have the Five of Wands though. You want no more of this, this, uh, fighting from the back. No more of this competition. No more of that fighting. All right. And the seven of pentacles, the seven of pentacles. So there's growth and progress here, growth and progress and the sun happiness. So there's definitely growth and progress here. There's a completion to this, to, to this past cycle. You are moving on is what this is telling me. It's traveling. It's moving forward. You are moving forward. The Seven of Pentacles, you're making progress. Your person is showing up more as the King of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands is telling me this is you. You want more passion. You're feeling more passionate. This is your energy now. You're feeling more passionate towards your King of Pentacles, male or female, okay? Because they're showing up for you. And you're happy. This is happiness for you. This is your happiness, the world. Now you're going on a completely new cycle. So that's an awesome, awesome way to end this. And it's healing family issues. That's where that healing family issues. So this could be a long-term relationship for some people, okay? Um, you could have been on and off, on and off several times. However, that resonates with you. Uh, let me get a Moonology card. Let me get a Moonology card for this. Let me see what this says for you guys. Universe. Give me a message here from the moon. The moon for my Sagittarius. But you're definitely starting a new cycle in this relationship. And you're starting in a good place. So we can take this into the extended and see what the outcome in the future will be now that you're starting a new cycle and see if it stays the same um, in, or where it goes from here, okay? We have a win-win outcome is forecast. A win-win outcome. I like that. All right. So leave in the comments below if this resonates. I hope that it does. 
Um, if it does, please click on the link to the extended and I will go further into the future with this situation now that you have decided to start fresh and you're happy with a new cycle starting. I'm going to keep these two and we're going to go from there, okay? Alrighty. I love you guys. Take care.